Hello everybody on the YouTube. I am 16. All right, I need to sh I need to shut that cuz that's just All right, today I am 16 days out from NPC Nationals. So, woo, we're getting there. Yeah, I thought today I would just show you, just bring you along with my day. I don't have class today, so I'm able to um, to show you guys what I'm doing. I am going to do a physique update for you guys because I haven't done one, I don't think, this entire prep of mine. I ended up having to get my calories as low as last time. A pretty... Um, low carb my fat is still high which i like so yeah that changed and then my cardio also changed it went up to 55 minutes and hit is completely taken out so that's just really going to help me with recovering i feel without doing the hit and for the 55 minutes it's just steady state i just go on like the elliptical i don't go on the um, Stairmaster. I just really take it easy. So that's what I've been doing for cardio. Um, also on my spin bike. And how I do that is I split it up into two sessions because 55 minutes is a really long time be like doing cardio. I don't know. So I'll do 30 minutes in the morning on my spin bike at home. And then after I work out later in the day, then I'll do like my rest of the 25. So um, cardio increased, calories were dropped. Today is actually my refeed day. It's pretty much just double my carbs is my refeed and my fat stays the same. Protein is just lowered by 10 grams. Yeah, so let's do this physique update for you all. Yep, that is the current physique. I am just really happy how well my body is responding to this prep. Um, so yeah, um, just happy. And yeah, I have to do more cardio than last time around. But I mean, that was, um, I knew that was going to have to happen because I have been dieting since um january so it's been a really long time since i've been dieting um but no i had like a 10 week break um in between shows which was nice but yeah so i just cooked up some acorn squash i think it's called yeah i really like these and then also so i'm gonna have this today some spaghetti squash so what you do is you take a fork and you, um, it makes like spaghetti noodles. So yeah, today is my refeed, so I'll definitely be incorporating these in there. So there you go. That's after I took the fork to it. So I probably will have like 200 grams of this cooked is only like seven carbs or something like that. So probably going to have... Some of that today for sure and i just went ahead and took my morning supplements so i took burn um omega these two are my favorite omega and flex and then i take hard first thing in the morning and 5at first thing in the morning and then before i train i take alpha so yeah that's my uh my core products here at night I'll take magnesium I seriously love carbs <laughs> like I don't know I just get like that fullness feeling like in my stomach and I'm just like whew, feels good it feels good to be full but yeah I, I did my cardio downstairs in my garage I did 30 minutes on my spin bike and then I just been studying all day because I have a test tomorrow and um, just like papers and a bunch of schoolwork because um, I have like one more month left of, of school, I'm pretty sure, or it ends like in December or something. So, yep, it is that time where they cram a bunch of stuff before the end of the semester. So I just have a lot of that going on right now. And I just ate my pre-workout meal, which had like 50 grams of carbs in there. So, woo, 
this girl is stuffed right now. My stomach has definitely shrunken a lot. Um, is shrunken a word? Shrunk? My stomach has shrunk, I feel like, a lot. Because, you know, in my off season, I could plow down 50 carbs and feel hungry. But um, now I eat 50 carbs and I'm like full. I had some veggies in there as well. So that's probably um, why. But yeah, now I'm gonna go hit the gym here. I, I threw my nightgown back on because I just been chilling, just chilling at the house. So I like to be comfortable. Yeah, I'm gonna go put on my gym clothes, get my pre-workout meal situated, pre-workout, not meal, um, my pre-workout situated, my ABCs together. I'll take my supplements that I take before I train, which I'll show you. And, um, yeah, head to the gym. I'm going to bring the camera along with me today in the gym. I haven't filmed a workout in forever. Um, it's just going to be me. Yeah, so I'll see how I can do this. I can do it. I've done it before.
Kyle's doing his cardio. Kyle. What up? minutes had a great session today just from all of those carbs like my lifting session was amazing and I got a serious pump too like at the end um, I've been doing uh, my coach has been having me do like, burnouts at the end so I'll like say lap pull downs or biceps I'll do my 15 reps and then I'll do 12 you know lower the weight and then I'll do 10 um, always on my last set so my third set I always do that um, but yeah so like the pump was so like big and real today which is good because I haven't had that all week just because I've been low carbs and yeah so now I'm going into Winn-Dixie because I need to get some food I ran out of rice cakes and um, just some other things that I need so that's where we are now Maybe it's a little better. Okay, so I just went to Trader Joe's and I thought I would show you guys what I got at Trader Joe's because you know I am like, I don't know, I think I'm 18 days out from my show so I'm on low carbs at the moment. So this is some low carb options that I got at Trader Joe's and let's just go with it. I got green beans, but now that I'm looking at this, they're not called green beans, but uh, probably taste like green beans. So yeah, um, got that. Some eggs, because I've been loving eggs recently. I got some egg whites, two different kinds of egg whites. I got that one. Also, this one. I have higher fat and lower carb, so... Um, I like these Power Crunch bars. This is if I'm like in class or something and I'm having a moment. That's why I have these with me, because you never know. Got some bacon. Um, yeah, I mean, definitely high in fat. Actually, not that bad. Three fat um, for two pieces, really? That's pretty cool. So three fat for protein. I got that, plus I got some turkey bacon as well which is for one slice it's 1.5 grams of fat i got some salmon some smoked salmon tastes good on rice cakes and i rice cakes with a laughing cow wedge or um, cream cheese really good savor during prep is anything that has the word cauliflower in it so i got some mashed cauliflower i got some Riced cauliflower, and then I love Trader Joe's um, almond milk, super good because I like having creamer in my coffee. Um, just 1.5 fat, one carb per serving, so that's not bad. All right, yeah, more vegetables because your girl is dieting, so yeah, vegetables keep you full. Asparagus. Essentials right there. More cauliflower stuff. That's actually a broccoli, rice broccoli, which is pretty interesting. Um, six carbs in here. And then I got more rice cauliflower. Um, I got some cereal too because I like to put this on protein ice cream or um, yogurt. This only has 23 carbs, so I, I try to find the lowest carb um, option there. And then I found these like waters that are flavored. Pretty interesting. So I got two of those. And then I got just some sparkling water because um, the bubbles in this keep me full. And then some salsa for my um, putting it on my chicken and um, stuff like that. So, yep, this was the other bag. 
and that was just a grocery haul. Currently sitting outside because it just feels so good out today. And don't mind my hair. I haven't even brushed it today at all. So, <laughs> um, yeah. But, um, yeah, it just feels so good out right now in Florida. Um, it's just really nice weather. It's not humid or anything. So, I'm, I'm liking this. Um, I stopped vlogging yesterday because something terrible happened. Um, so I went to the grocery store, you guys saw me do that, and when I was there, I ended up getting, getting myself a, um, a Coke, and I thought it was a Diet Coke, so, yeah, I was, like, drinking it in my car, and I was like, wow, this tastes really good. I thought I bought the new Coke Zero, like there's like this new sugar free version and my boyfriend said that it tastes like really really good and it's like his favorite, um, it's like his favorite um, diet drink. So I thought I purchased that one. So I was in my car and I was drinking it and I'm like oh this tastes good and I had like all this like energy like coming through my system and I just worked out and I felt like, I was like damn I feel. I feel good like <laughs> and so um so then I'm like I wonder if there's like a lot of caffeine in this because I feel hyper as hell like I was wondering why I felt so hyper because I'm usually exhausted after I work out so I like I put over the late I turn over the thing and I'm like oh, oh my gosh it wasn't the diet one it was the real coke and it had like 65 grams of carbs in it and I'm like oh no so I um I ended up crying at first because it, it's honestly like the worst feeling ever if you've ever experienced that please comment down below and tell me your experience because um I cried and then afterwards I just laughed it off and I, I, I told my Instagram story and stuff and people were like DMing me like oh my god I've done the same thing don't worry um, so yeah I just thought I would share that with you guys it's good because I didn't end up drinking the whole thing um, I measured out the rest that I had in there when I got home and um, I drank most of it I drank like 0.6 five of it so in the end it was like 45 carbs that went towards my carbs for the day and thank goodness that actually happened on a refeed day because on my refeed days I have higher carb but I'm um, still it sucked I would much rather eat something much rather have oatmeal that would fill me up um but it's it's in the past now but um Afterwards, I only had like 20 grams of carbs left for the rest of the day, and I had 70 grams of protein left. So what I did was I just made some, look at that muscle, that chest split. So, um, yeah, at the end of the day, I just ended up having um, some vegetables, you know, just like what I do on my low-carb day. I had vegetables and then I made protein ice cream at the end of the night and that actually filled me up. And weirdly this morning I had a new low weigh-in. So who knows, maybe um, that is gonna be the trick. Two weeks out, have a real Coke. It might do the trick, I'm joking. But um, yeah, so that happened and I just didn't vlog for the rest of the day because I don't know, I don't know why I just, didn't vlog but I did tell my Instagram and um, it was funny in the end like I'm just laughing about it now because a lot of people are telling me their stories and stuff so it happens you just gotta um, get through it I guess if it that happened on my low carb day that would have been awful because that's actually like all of my carbs like pretty much pretty much all of my carbs so um, Again, I'm blessed it was on a refeed day, and thank goodness I get two refeeds in a row. So yesterday and now today is my second refeed. So I'm gonna do this one correctly. Um, I'm gonna do this one right and not have. I might just take out diet sodas now. Like I don't need that. Um, I'm fine with tea, so I'm just gonna actually cut out diet sodas because I don't want to make that mistake again. That's like. Uh, it was literally like the worst feeling ever, but I wanted to share with you guys and tell YouTube as well. So, 
Yupper, I'm just chilling here. I'm gonna head to the gym soon. I had class this morning. Um, I did some cardio when I got home, and now um, I got um, upper body and, and legs. I do full body workouts, and I'm gonna meet Kyle at the gym here. So, um, yeah.